Hello gamers! Welcome back to another Switch Switzer 1 video. And today I'm gonna make a super ultra ultra thick thick 737. And no, not the max. Well, that was funny because the 737 Max is kind of like a thick version of the 737. Alright, so we're gonna play around in X-Plane again. So, average Switcher 01 video, right? So, what I was gonna do is make a 737, but with rocket engines. So, let's open Plane Maker, shall we? Okay, let's open the 737-800 Super Engine. Thick. So, this part is a bit more technical. So, here we are in the 737. Uh, this is quite easy. Let's go ahead and make this engine a rocket engine. Yeah, this is totally a good idea, but this is where things get interesting. The rocket engine specs. Basically, here we can set how powerful the engines are, and we obviously want them to be as powerful as possible. So these figures are in pounds. You know we don't want to put this to 1 million pounds. Okay, let's use those settings. Let's just see if this even works. Alright, let's open x -Plane. All Alright, so here's our 737 Ultra Thick. Isn't that, like, cool? Let's spawn in. Oh yeah, this is some massive power. I can already hear it. It's audible. Okay, that was a tail strike. So yeah, the 737 was able to load. So yeah, let's play around, shall we? All right, let's go ahead and set the numbers to this. Like, just random numbers, I don't even know. All right, let's save this, and let's go back to Area 51. Nice airport, isn't it? Okay, I think this is a bad idea, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can- oh yeah, I can tell. I can tell. This is not good. So the thing is that we won't really have the visual effects of a rocket engine for some reason, even though they should be there, but, you know, we got some massive power here. Jesus Christ. And we have run out of fuel, apparently. <laughs> yeah, this thing literally eats fuel. Jesus. Amazing, right? Okay, not too bad, right? Okay, but I have to do something that it doesn't run out of fuel, like, every two minutes or so. Okay, so I just did some magic here, and I hope this is gonna work out. Okay, so what I basically did was expand the fuel tanks so that they can hold more fuel. Makes a lot of sense, obviously. So let's go ahead and fly, right? <laughs> Okay, let's try to carefully land. Oh god. God damn it. Now, here we are. Now you guys might say that I'm kinda lying about this being a rocket engine aircraft now. Because yes, it kinda looks like just an overpowered normal engined aircraft. Like with super thickly overpowered engines, what am I saying? But no, those are actually rockets now. And you can see they're not spinning. And also, when they're on idle, no sound. Which is normal with rocket engines, by the way. Very exciting, right? So we're at Area 51, the bestest airport ever, with the bestest alien tower. Yeah, this is my life right now. So yeah, guys, don't be distracted by those not looking like rocket engines, but they are. Let's go ahead and just normally take off. So yes, I expanded the fuel tanks to hold more fuel. 21 million pounds! Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and take off. Also, the instruments are kind of weird. Look at that. Yeah, only people that have flown the 737 in a simulator know why this is weird. Parking brakes off. Let's take off at Area 51. Beautiful airport. We don't want to have a tail strike, do we? Jesus Christ. Wow, look at that acceleration. Okay, we are in the air. Let's go for some thicker thrust. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have already run out of fuel. There you go. Okay, now this is a perfectly running 737 with rocket engines. Yeah, this is pretty much out of control at this point. Perfectly running. Why are the wings flexing so much? Okay, but we're still running. All right, alien tower. Please expect some wake turbulence, to say the least. All right, let's just go ahead and do an inverted 737 max flight. And what is going on? So, hello, passengers. We have currently run into some turbulence. Please fasten your seatbelts and uh, prepare to die. All right, let's just go ahead and land. I just want to also see how strong the reverse thrusters are. Like, I don't know. All right, let's get ready for butterization approach. Okay, the runway is over there. We're dying again. 
frick. Okay, here we are. Let's actually land now. So the problem is that if you give full power or anything close to that, you'll be making a vertical. Okay, let's get ready for it landing. Yeah, my throttle's nearly on idle right now. And it's so quiet. Okay, let's go for reverse thrusters and see how this goes. Oh. So what might have happened is that reverse thrusters don't work on rocket engines. It's landing time. Yeah, that was quite a rough landing, wasn't it? Yeah, this is about what I expected from this flight. <laughs> All right, here we are in the space shuttle. Full power takeoff. Yep, this totally works. All right, gamers, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.